Hey everyone, so look at this. We have an Infiniti and this car is dirty. So I'm gonna show you how you wash a extremely dirty car. I'm also gonna do something about those headlights. You can see they're a little yellow. So we're gonna restore those. The wheels are also extremely dirty. All right, so I'm gonna start with the headlights. Now this makes a pretty big mess with the sanding and the polishing and everything. So I'm gonna do it before I do the rest of the car. That way nothing drips down onto the car after I've cleaned the car's paint. So before I start, I'm gonna wipe down the headlight with a little bit of Wipeout, which is just an alcohol-based cleaner. And then in my case, I'm using the Chemical Guys Clay Luber, and I'm gonna sand the headlight. As you can see, there's a lot of dirt that's coming off the headlight and it's dripping down onto the paint. So in this case, this is why I wanted to do this before I washed the car. Now you want a lot of lubrication when you're doing this. If the sandpaper starts to stick, just make sure you spray more. Now we can wipe it off. And the headlight already looks a lot better than it did when I started. But we are still gonna do a few more steps. The next step I'm gonna do is to compound the headlight. So in this case, I'm using Chemical Guys V34 and an orange pad. And I'm just gonna take off some more of the plastic that's starting to yellow. After compounding, I'm going to wipe down the headlight. And there is already a night and day difference on this. Now the last step to make sure it's clear is I'm going to polish it. Then once I wash the whole car, I'm going to put a coating on it. That way it doesn't oxidize and haze as quickly. But it is already looking a lot better. So there's what the headlight looks like after restoring it and taking off that yellow coating. Next, we're gonna move on to the wheels. All right, so because these wheels are so dirty, I'm gonna do each one individually and take my time. So I have the pressure washer here. We're gonna start by just getting off all the loose dirt. All right, now that the wheel is wet, I'm gonna immediately come in with my iron remover. And then I like to use Diablo wheel cleaner. So I put this in a foam cannon. Once I've sprayed down the wheel, I can take the outside brush and make sure you hit each individual spoke of the wheel. So now I'm going to go in with my barrel blade and get the inside of the rim. 
you can see this rim was absolutely filthy. Once the wheel is clean, you can take your pressure washer and just rinse it down. That is a huge difference from when we started. So I'm gonna go do the other three wheels. I'm not gonna video it, just because you don't need to see it three times. And we'll come back when we're ready to work on the paint. All right, so as you'll see, the headlights are done. They look fantastic. And all the wheels are done. And now we can start paying attention to the paint. Just the wheels alone make this car look so much better. Got a lot of dirt we need to get off. So the first step I'm going to do when washing the paint is use Gion foam. And this is a good pre-wash, so it's going to lift all the loose dirt up and hopefully make it easier when I go in for the contact wash. I personally think that Gion foam has enough lubrication where you could do a contact wash with it. But for the first rinse and wash, I'm just going to let it sit, give it about a minute. Then I'm going to go over and rinse the car down. And I'm going to do a second layer of the Gion foam and that will be a contact wash. And from there I'll see what else the paint needs. So it's been about a minute and I'm going to start rinsing the car for the first time working my way up the car instead of working my way down the car. So I can already see the paint looks so much better. If you remember, there were spots on the hood. They are almost completely gone. The spot on the fender is much smaller. So now we're gonna go in for a contact wash. So I'm gonna spray down the car one more time with foam and then go in for a contact wash. All right, so I've done the contact wash. Time to rinse it down. All right, so now that I've rinsed down the car after the contact wash, I'm going to go back. While it's still wet, I'm going to spray a little bit of this ceramic hydro coat by Suds Lab. This stuff is really easy protection. If you're looking for something that's not hard to put on, this is definitely it. You just do about two sprays per panel and then wash the panel off.
So normally I'll go in for a dry with the leaf blower, but in this case, I know the paint's not gonna be slick enough since I haven't polished it or anything. So I'm actually gonna go in with a towel and do a towel dry. So now I'm gonna go in with the leaf blower and just get all the hard to reach crevices and make sure it's completely dry. All right, so as you can see, this came out fantastic. Wheels are clean, paint is clean. All the spots are gone. Now keep in mind, this car does really need a polish and compound, but didn't have time today with the weather and the car owner. So I just did a basic clean and it came out really, really nice. 